Hey everybody, Justin Buse here, and I'm here to show you yet another brush pack. This happens to be another one of my favorites as well. The reason this is one of my favorites is just about, just for the reason I'm about to show you, is that you can take objects you don't necessarily want in focus um, without blurring it. Uh, it kind of gives it more of an effect blur, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, so for example, you can see me pushing sides of the house um, out in the back with it, it leaves expression while taking the detail out of the image so for example an, an, another example would be the midground and foreground I'm, I'm adding some some kind of heavy fog over it and it's still leaving it it's still there's still a, a midground and a foreground but it's taking that that out of the um, focus just like that little house back there just kind of went out of focus leaving leaving the big house in the center because sometimes in an image we have more than one thing, but one other thing could be the the focus. Um, another great use for this would be that if you want to put a, a a title or font over something, and you don't want it to feel so busy, like if you wanted to put it over that hay there, well, if it was if it was appropriate for the image, you could place fog there, um, and then what you could do is place your font over it. And this is great because then your area is not too busy. There's not font and a bunch of uh, detail or um, tiny little things. And play with that so that you can get not only depth, you have focus, you have control over where the viewer's eye goes. So right now, it just goes right on the house for this demonstration. And um, I think I overdid it a little here and there. But I'm generally happy with the result of this. And you know, after you're done, uh, free to bring it back into Photoshop and play with some of the effects, the overlay layers, you know, do what you want with it, adjust the colors. Uh, that's really fun, especially after bringing it into Particle Shop, um, because then you then you can do you can take it into Photoshop like you normally would, and uh, start doing the things that you would without Particle Shop. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you around.